be out of here in a minute. Don't leave on our camp. I said I'd be out of here in a minute. Now, just leave him alone. Bobby, you can tell me what to do at the office, but not here. Will you two stop? What's gotten into you two? You seemed so close when you were in Haleyville, hunting and spending time with your boys. Say, I remember how Bobby saved you from getting whooped on by my brothers? I could have handled him. I should have let you try. Okay, now don't start again. I just don't understand why you two can't get along now that you're home. Well, in the first place, Callie, when we were in Haleyville, we managed to forget there was a Ewing oil. And that's another thing, Bobby. How come you shut J.R. out of the family business and took in Cliff Barnes? He ain't even kin. Worse than that, he's an idiot. You and J.R. should spend more time together. Callie, I know what you're trying to do. Don't try and fix this. It's been going on a long time, and it can't be fixed. Well, don't go, Bobby. Callie, just stay out of it. He's a hard-headed boy, Kelly. And your sweet, darling little wife to try to help out, but Bobby just doesn't have the capacity to forgive and forget like I do. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Well, JR, we've given you up. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. I know how you hate anybody being late for dinner. But I had a meeting with Horace Smithfield, and time just got out of hand. Horace? Right. Something wrong? No, Clayton, nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, I'm about to make everything right. That'll be the day. Bobby, I feel bad about what happened, and I know you may think it's my fault. I really can't blame you. Well, that's very generous of you. So, to avoid any possibility of my being tempted again, I had Harv Smithfield draw up a contract that states that neither one of us can sell any Ewing oil assets without the other's permission. I'm touched that you went to so much trouble for me. Could it be that you're trying to close the barn door now that the horse is already out? Well, I'm just trying to make things right. There's not going to be an agreement. If there weren't ladies at the table, I'd tell you what you could do with your paper. Well, don't let us stop you. Lucy, hush. Mama, if you'll excuse me, I've lost my appetite. Well, I declare, Bobby was downright ugly. Now, Callie, I'm glad you could witness that little display. I try to make things right, and he gets sarcastic. Excuse me while I go and throw up. 